Welcome back to another episode of Tap That. I'm your host, Allie Ray, and today we're gonna try a beer that, for one, I don't even know how to pronounce the brewery. I'm gonna butcher this, but I think it's Persimian Brewing. This is a beer that I've actually never tried before, so I'm very excited. Okay, that was a mega surprise. So let's get into it, beer me, baby. So what we have here is from Persimian Hollow Brewing. They are out of Deland, Florida. This is a blood orange wheat owl. It is 5% ABV and it is only 20 IBUs, so it's going to be super easy drinker. Okay, so let's get into this and try this blood orange, although I'm not breaking a nail. Can you throw me something to open it with? A fork? <laughs> a fork. Whatever. It works. We improvise. So blood orange wheat owl. Let's pour here. Oops, spilled. Okay, the head is forming nicely. That's what she said. <laughs> mm. Right off the bat, totally orange, lots of orange flavor. So they nailed it with the name. I'm sure that's what they were going for. <laughs> it is a blood orange weed owl. Mmm, lots of orange flavors. It smells so crisp. The head dissipates pretty quickly. I think that's supposed to happen on this kind of beer. I feel like there's some other fruit, but it's mainly blood orange. Mm. Oh. No, we keep it real here on this channel, okay? We don't we don't sugarcoat. Okay, so aroma, orange, juicy, you have like high expectations going in. But when I tasted it, if I was to close my eyes, I'm kind of getting like just a light beer vibe. Like it doesn't, I don't, I don't taste any of the orange that I smelled. So the aroma, overwhelming, amazing, but the taste is not there which is interesting. Kind of leaves a coating on your tongue a little bit. Very, very light, almost to a point where, like light beer vibes, that's what I'm getting. Just keeping it real. It's losing its orange flavor almost instantly. I have to think about this for a second. Their, their title is, or their tagline is, drink sensibly but get weird. I agree. For this one, you know, it could be that I'm not just a wheat owl drinker. Maybe it's lacking that hops, but honestly, I was expecting obviously light hops, but I wasn't expecting for the orange flavor to not be there. So although the aroma was there, the flavor was not. So I, uh, and I'm not gonna just be nice because it's a Florida beer, because I do love Florida beers, but I'm gonna have to go a 2.8 on that one. And it's simply because the smell was so good. It's almost like you ever had that body wash that smells so good, you're like, damn, if I could eat this. I know that maybe I'm the only creep that does that. But it smelled so good, I was so ready to chug it. But it, the flavor just wasn't there. So it's getting a lower score for me today. But overall, you know, it's an easy drinker. It's light. I think it would be something that you can drink on the boat all day if you're into that. So I don't know, some I'm gonna love, some I'm gonna hate. This one in particular didn't make the mark for me, but if you've tried this beer and you have a difference of opinion, I would love to hear about it. And I also, if you have anything else you'd recommend from Permission Hollow, make sure to drop that in the comment. That's a review.